hours? Well, it's the 20th of September. Is that right, Kathy? That's correct. And it's Friday. Fridays don't matter to us because we're <laughs> no. working all the time. <laughs> it's all the same. We, uh, we have this beautiful, and I'm talking about a beautiful, L2501 supplied by Newfoundland uh, Kubota Limited. We've had it for what, about a week now? Oh yes, at least. We have been developing mods for it every day since and sometimes into the wee hours of the morning because <laughs> we never know how long we have these things for so we try to squeeze as much time in as we can yes our crows are watching because the crow sees the dead cat on the microphone the furry thing and thinks it's something to eat so they're out calling all their buddies now so if you hear crows that's the way it is here <laughs> <laughs> that's right Sending and, out false alarms. And we have neighbors over the apartment building, which we refer to as the Foghorn, and you'll hear her once in a while. So hopefully she keeps her language down. Anyway, I've, uh, I've developed a wonderful likeness to this 2501. I think this is probably one of my favorite tractors to the, that we've had here since. Now, I've said that during the week, haven't I? You have many times. And I like it because it's my idea of a true tractor, you know? Now, I like bells and whistles and computers and things that's giving you all kinds of data. This is not it. <laughs> this is a mechanical tractor with a HST transmission. It's a little less than 25 horsepower. It don't have none of that old foolish emission systems on it. And it's just a, a no frills, good, solid looking tractor. And that's what I like about it. The other thing I like about it, it's so nice to develop mods for. It's yeah. really a, it's really a fun tractor to develop mods for. I got so interested in this year, I wouldn't even leave the shops or some days for dinner. <laughs> I got right into it, didn't I? Oh yeah. So it's uh, it's been fun so far. Now, when we introduced it last week, we uh, asked people to give their comments on the tractor. And I'm telling you, like we got some really good ideas. There's, there's no one better than to give you ideas than an owner of this type of machine. That's right. Exactly. Because they've had time to use it, had time to play with it. They know about its advantages. They know some of its shortcomings, if there's any. And, you know, so we, we given the fact that we don't have a lot of time, like if we own this thing, it would take us probably a year, a full year, to develop everything that we'd want to develop for it. But we do these ma marathon develops, you know, we kind of engineering on the fly, we call it, you know? So we're doing as much as we can in the short period of time that we have it. And we've done pretty good. So today, we're going to show you five different mods that we've, we've done for this tractor. And some of them are based on what customers have told us in the comment section of our YouTube video. And again, thank you for taking the time to even watch the videos and also to comment on them. So if you want to come over with your camera, Kathy, we can just refresh people's, you know, memory of what they see and what what a standard 250L2501 looks like. So it's, uh, like I say, it's a mechanical tractor. One thing I did notice about this tractor, the first thing that really got me was, man, does this thing ever start easy. Oh, yeah. You almost got to sneak up on it. Really? It's unbelievable how easy this starts, the direct, the direct injection system. And uh, so, you know, there's a few things that we've addressed. And I think probably what we'll do is just take it back in the shop now and install those items. And we can uh, show them exactly what we've done then. It's easier to put them on first. <laughs> See what I mean, folks? <laughs> That's the way it is here. Come on over to this side, Kathy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, they puppies. make more noise than tractors. Even the, the puppies are excited oh, over there. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, I, they probably see a bit of the orange, eh? They're all oh, I know. hopping so, and popping yeah, and doing so whatever they do, this. right? Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this back in the shop and we're going to install the five items on it. Some of them you've seen before. Some of them. They're called the same thing, but they're different. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll head her on up, install, then we'll come back and show them to you. We're back. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I got my Newfoundland Kubota cap on. 
and the foghorns are still next door. <laughs> so a little while ago we had a car going in there, we had foghorns going, we had dogs barking, crows going, and a carpenter up in the back somewhere. <laughs> so we, we, couldn't, we couldn't do the video. Anyway, we have our five items done. We think they're gorgeous. Or is the, the, the famous word these days is stunning. <laughs> <laughs> That's is, the buzzword. Everything is stunning. Yeah. Jeez. Anyway, so here's what we did. We, we took uh, customers' comments and we basically picked, picked five, the first five from the comment section. And why did we pick them particular five? It was just because it w I was interested in it. It, was ju it just sparked my interest. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to do these five and we're going to see how it goes. If, if it's like the B model, last year when we done the B series, the B series was really, really slow getting momentum. So if the L series is slow like that this year, we're just going to stop doing work on the, stop spending our time on research and development on the L because when we manufacture this stuff, design it and manufacture it, we only have a certain amount of room. So we only build so much at a time. So we don't want to build, 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 and then run ourselves, put ourselves in the corner as regards to room. So we're going to see how this goes. If there's interest in it, we'll start developing next week other items. Because I'm telling you, this here is a mod miracle machine to work with it's there's so much not that it needs but there's so much that you can add to it to uh, make it much more comfortable for the operator and uh, so that that's where we're to with it so if this if this takes off well we'll keep her going if it don't we'll tell uh, Newfoundland Kubota come get your tractor <laughs> it, that's the right way to do it because oh, yeah, last it year we had the B series come back a couple of times and uh, we shouldn't have really done it, but you know it ended up working working out for everybody after. But it was a really slow sell. Anyway, so based on customers' comments, customers' comments, viewers' comments, we decided to do these following mods. First of all, there's been a step designed for it, folks. I can tell you, out of all the steps we ever made, this is the most difficult. That's lucky to have a step. Well, I'll tell you, it, it came one point in time. I said, you know what? I don't think I'm going any further with no, this. That's right. And then, then of course, an email came in from a 70 odd year old man saying, I need a step and I need it lower to the ground. I have trouble with my knees. I can't get on the tractor. Can you please help? We have half of his comment taken care of by the step. The other part, with the, the reason why I kept going with the step is because I read his email. The other thing was he asked for he asked for a uh, a handle of some sort that he could grab to get on because he said when he grabs the steering wheel, just have a look at the steering wheel. See? Oh yes, yes, you will do damage. Yeah, so you're going to do damage to that. So I think if 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 the rest of this goes well, I think I'm going to develop or we're going to develop a handle. A grab handle that you can get on because fellows will say, Well, why don't you just grab onto this? Well, a lot of people don't have an FEL, and some yeah, people have true. an FEL and they don't have it on the tractor at the time. It's true, so you can't grab what's not there. No, you know, so so that, that's that's the next thing. So we do have the step, the step works quite well. Kathy will demo it now very shortly, folks. I might add as well if you have a, a Kubota tractor and you're interested in one of these steps. Just uh, and you don't see it listed on our website. Just uh, email Kathy and ask her uh, if you have a if she has a step available for your model. Just give her the model number, and it's, it's quite likely we, we we will have it. You know, if, unless you got a really rare beast. The other thing was somebody asked for FEL tube caps. Well, I really didn't see. I stand to be corrected now. I didn't see much of a use for this unless you're just going to put a strap or a chain in it. I could have made caps for that, but we didn't. But what we did, we made caps for the tubes back here because the tubes are much bigger. Exactly. Now they're that long, so we're going to supply the tube caps. These are a spring steel, and uh, what you do to put them on, 
is you squeeze them together like so and they're they're in there that's right you've got them on the 57 yes yeah now Ooh, yeah. now in inside here Kathy just mm -hmm. you just show them inside there there is a bit of a distance in behind there that it follows goes right oh, on through yes yeah but a fella could cut a piece of plywood the same distance same radius mm -hmm. put it in there put a bit of caulking on it would stay or even just a piece of styrofoam oh that's right that stuff it in there the you know yeah but look look at a nice little handy area yeah to put some some of your belongings mm -hmm. you know so two wools are are locked now right so they'll be sold in as a set as well the other problem was the fellow said they're beating off their lights so we now have light guards here. Beautiful. So that's the light. I know, but what do you think it is? They're good too. Okay. <laughs> so now we have the light guards for these as well, sold in a set. Another fella said, I don't have a problem with a light guard there. I got a problem with. <laughs> well, another guy said, you know what, Paul? I'm after beating my tail lights off. You know, from hooking up implements and there's there's nothing I can put on there. So this is a unique system that we came up with here. First of all, when we try to do anything like the step, the step is a direct replacement for what comes off. So in other words, you take the four original bolts off for the step, you put the four original bolts back for our step. The step, by the way, I failed to mention, is actually, actually about two to two and a half inches lower than the OEM step. The OEM step is up around here. What I try to do is divide the distance from the ground to the deck about midway. That way you don't have such a straddle, straddle to, to get up there, you know? Anyway, back to this. I get kind of carried away here. No scripts here, folks. <laughs> so a guy says to me, he says, can you design a guard to go over the lake? Well, the problem is with this, there's no screw holes here, so you can't use screws. So I got to thinking and it hit me. Ding! Why don't I utilize the ROPS? Oh, yeah. So we made a guard to fit the bolts onto the ROPS that goes there. It's quite strong. It's all 1-8 plate, but it's gusseted and, and, it, and it looks good. It's got the grills in it. So if anything hits it, it's got a, a good enough distance away from it that'll it'll protect that lens. Now, if something comes down on here, you know, the only thing I can suggest to you is to keep it in the garage where it's fully covered. <laughs> you know, there's only so much that we can protect for you, folks. But that's going to be at the set there. And they come with our special clamping system. That's right. You know, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's very nice. It looks OEM. And it's uh, literally a five-minute install. Oh, yeah. We'll have an install video on it, but I mean, okay. Yeah. You know. Not necessary. It's not necessary, but it's, so, it's such an easy install. But it works well. It's gusseted top and bottom. And like I say, it's got the grill in it. We have to thank our, our uh, well, our secret employee, really, Terry B. That's right. Formerly of Tracker. Now, we're going to be doing a video on Terry, Terry later on. Terry has his own business now. He's into graphics and wraps and and I don't mean like subway wraps, I mean like wrapping vehicles and <laughs> you know so uh, we're gonna be doing a video on that as soon as I can get hold of them and get them to get me a business card so we can just do a dedicated video but Terry does all our, our well 90 percent of our programming and uh, he looked after this for us so basically we did we just put it on the table cut it and we designed it mm -hmm. it's all designed by us but Terry does the program because in order for us to put these mods out as quick as we do, we need people like Terry to do the stuff that you don't see. You know, it's, it's just, I can't, I can't work 14 hours a day in the shop and then spend another three hours a night doing this stuff. Right? So anyway, so they're done. Uh, hey, float plane. Show them the float plane. Mm. Cool, eh? Very. One fella said to my father one time, he said, boy, I wouldn't want to be up in that. My father looked at it, he said, well, I wouldn't want to be up there without it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, th so that's it. Now, the other thing was, was this little thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People said, can you please? Excuse me. Bless you. You always have two. 
Um, I think I'm okay. You're, you're contrary now, because you always have to. I'm never contrary. No, you're not. Never. <laughs> Lightning come down. <laughs> Oh, I just felt that sad. Yeah. <laughs> what was you that? You look like Phyllis Diller there, now you hear it. What was that? Come over, come over here. We'll show them this, this toolbox. This is their toolbox. Now, I mean, it, you know, it's a toolbox. Toolbox? Yeah, you know, and, and that's fine, right? Yes. But, you know, for a fella that got an appetite and he wants a lunch, that's not very good. No. So here's what we came up with. We came up with a unique design for the ROPs. If we had to design one to put up here, it would have been too high. Yeah. If we had to have put it down here, it would have been too low. If we had to have it out too far, it would have covered the light. Wow, a lot of problems. So, you know, like, we tried to find a happy medium. And the happy medium, I think we found it. It's all built out of one-eight plate. It's got special bends in it. It's got, uh, just look up here, Kathy. It's got carriage bolts up here. It's done very nice, in my opinion. Very and uh, lots of room for your lunch. And the lid stays up. Sweet. So you know, like now you can use your tractor twice as long because you can take twice to lunch. Exactly. That's that's great. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so and it's it's of course it's a waterproof box as well, right? And it's lockable. It's a place there you can put a little lock if need be, and it's uh, less than five minutes to install it. Wow. I think that's it, isn't it? That's our five? Yes. That's the caps. One, step, two, three, four, five. Correctamundo. We Perfect. call the toolbox the blizzard box, yes. blizzard toolbox, because it's a cousin of Twister and his sister. <laughs> right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so Twister uh, was the toolbox we developed, swing out toolbox for the BX. So then we developed one for this side. That's right. Which we called his sister. That's right. Sister don't swing at all. No, no, they no. She's not a swinger. She's not a swinger. The only reason why Twister is a swinger so people can fuel up the BX. Yeah. And uh, of course Blizzard, well, he wanted to get in on the X, so that's why we call it the Blizzard toolbox. So there you have it, folks. Other than that, Probably get you to sit up on and demo to step in that form. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's do it. I'm like the demo model. There you go. Let's do it. Come on, demo model. <laughs> Come on, hurry on. <laughs> Where you going? You going? You took off. You like the clothes? Yeah, I'm ready. We're ready. Bye -bye. Here you go. Straddle over here. Oh. What well, thinkest thou? Shakespeare again. Very nice. Yeah. Stunning. Stunning, isn't it? Isn't it, it is. stunning? It is. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty good indeed. You like, huh? It's a good height. It's a good height, yeah. Oh, oh so you got your handle here. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But uh, I've had a lot of people ask for a ask for a handle for their left side, right? So. Yeah. We'll have to look into it anyway and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Fabulous. We'll call it a, a wrap? A wrap. It's a wrap. So anyway, folks, go for it. Go for it. Have at her. Have at her. <laughs> yeah. If you have any questions, uh, the links for these items will be at, in the description of the video. We don't have a, a cart on our website. People ask us why. Folks, you would not believe the people who want to buy these mods and put them on a John Deere, on a Coyote, on a Mahindra, and they cannot accept the fact that they will not fit their tractors. And we've even had people beg us to uh, make these mods for the tractors. And look, folks, we're Kubota people. This is a Kubota family. Everything we own is Kubota. Kubota has been good to us. Newfoundland Kubota has been better than family. Fabulous. So there's enough to keep us going with Kubota. Yes. You know, it's, it is what it is. It, things would have been much different if we had to buy a Coyote at first. We probably would have taken an interest in it. Or, and maybe we would have traded it right away and bought a Kubota. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. That right? mean we don't know. You know I've been all upset know. that we bought it. But anyway, the fact is, we're Kubota people, and I, if we put a check out there, 
where we know we're going to have people buying these things and trying to alter them to fit their tractors and we don't want that you know it is what it is, it is what so that that's why so what happens is you see it on the site there's always an email on the site uh, you know on each page and just email Kathy and say okay Kathy uh, I'm interested in this uh, if there's any shipping let me know or whatever and Kathy mm -hmm. Kathy is there all the time as a matter of fact she scared people sometimes she's answered the emails so quick you'll always have a live person answering you which is kathy and i'm telling you she's on the ball folks well, last week i had to call a company and i said why don't somebody answer the phone instead of going to an answering machine yes yeah that never happens here it never happens or no. answer an email never happens. no exactly so no so we, we try to give the best product we try to give the best service it is what it is and again we can't thank Newfoundland Kubota Limited enough to give us the opportunity to have these machines because without them, never happen. Not, not even that positive, it, it would never happen. So, you know, there's a lot to be said. So, Kubota, Newfoundland Kubota, thank you very much, especially to Darcy. And uh, we really appreciate everything that you guys have done. So, we'll see you in the next video, folks. And... Uh, have a great weekend. Be good to each other. Don't take handicap zones unless you're entitled to them. Don't text. And my God, if you vape, give it up. <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff you shouldn't be doing now. You just have to add another one. Yeah. yeah. Too many things. Really, yeah. right? Too many things you know? to name. And be kind to each other. That's right? The main one. And with that, we'll say goodbye and, and God bless.